What's up people? This is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android, and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys. This is only for you rooted guys out there. But before we get started, here's the top Instagram picture of the week. Hashtag that's Viva La Android on Instagram. If you guys want your pictures to be in my next video, make sure to hashtag them as Viva La Android on Instagram or check them all out. So with this tutorial, you're gonna need a rooted device and it's really easy to root. I can't show you how to root because each device is different to do. So like this Galaxy S4, this is T-Mobile version, it's different to do than the Verizon version. So just Google your phone or what carrier and model and you should find it on Google or YouTube. It's really easy. So let's get started with this tutorial and this tutorial I'm sh and with this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your screen density and what I mean by that is the menus the font, the icons, everything is going to be smaller. Everything over here. So if you see over here, this is the first menu. Right now it's smaller than the regular S4 version. So like I don't need to scroll. And if you do change it to be small enough, it's going to make the phone think that it's a tablet and it gives you tablet menus, but still acts as a phone. So you're going to need to go into this app, ROM Toolbox Lite. I'll have a link for it down in the description of the video. So you're going to want to swipe right and go to bold prop editor and if you don't have a rooted device you can't access these menus or this app itself this is like the menus from samsung which they don't want you to mess with you can go all the way down to see ro.sf.lcd under slash density now there's two of them so the top one you're gonna need to change and you want to click it and the bigger the number is the smaller everything's gonna be and the smaller the number is the bigger everything's gonna be so if I change it down to 280 and press OK, it's going to require me to reboot my device now. I'll just press yes. And now after my phone reboots, it should be a lot smaller now. The menus and the notification bar and everything. So my phone just turned on. It's still loading. But as you can see, the notification bar is a lot smaller. I'll just scroll it down here. And you see the menus is a lot more smaller. If you have S4, you'd notice the difference. This is a lot smaller now. It's actually in a tablet size. So I'll go into menus right here. You see it got a lot smaller. You see more stuff, you get more space for other stuff. You go into my device, you barely have to scroll over here where in the other one I have to scroll a lot. And it just looks nice and neat. I mean I would keep it like this but I do videos for you guys and you guys wouldn't be able to read anything like this. But other than that I would have kept it like this. If I press menu, it's smaller over here. And everything is just small and neat and just looks good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to mess around with it. Put a bigger number, put a smaller number, see what you guys like. And here's the top comment of the week right here. If you guys want your comment to be in my next video, make sure to comment down below. I read every single comment and I reply to a lot. So make sure to comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a like down below. If you got an Android, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And like always, Android for life. Peace.